Hi guys, struggling around the hips, the thighs and general pelvic area. I've done a previous video using a chair to try and release the outer thighs, but I want to take this now on the next level down to the ground. So use this and do this with me. So officially, I want you to feet out, okay, knees come in. This is a first position I want you to get used to. All right, I want you to see if you can feel any tension on those outer hips and those upper thighs. What I'm gonna ask you to do is come to the ground now. So we're gonna come down, okay, and we're gonna place those feet. We're gonna see if the knees drop in, and again, what do you feel on those outer thighs? If you are feeling any pulling around the kneecap, again, remember, they're hinge joints. They're not designed to be coming aggressively in. We're trying to use our hips. So I want you to come off your toes and I want you to drop in. So by not planting our feet down, you've given yourself that little bit more range around the hips and then up around the shins too. I lie here nice and relaxed and I am allowing these muscles 20 to 30 seconds to relax on the outside. You may feel the pressure intensify. I want you to come out, straighten the legs out, stretch them out, and then I want you to come back in. Before you go again, can you go for the 90-90, but lying down? So I'm coming in with my knees, and I'm going out with my knees. Loosening everything off. And then once again, we're going to apply those feet again, bring them a little higher if you can, and then we're going to drop in. Remember, if there's any pulling on the knee, all right, we're going to bring up those toes, we're going to drop in. The advance of this is we can come up into a bridge position, all right? The toes can point in, and we are basically tracking any biomechanic tension. Do you feel your glutes engage? Do you feel your outer thighs increase in pressure? Okay, and then relax. Again, we're monitoring what's going on around our knees. And if you are somebody that holds tension in the shin muscle here, tibularis anterior, I have other videos to show you how to release those. Check them out, please. So guys, join me on seeing if you can make the mechanics of your legs work better for you by appreciating that if you're holding tension, then we need to change its perspective and get that out. So try it, let me know, and uh, thank you ever so much.